Welcome to Live It Up, I'm Donna Drake, and tonight we're here at Point Lookout at the Bowie Bar, and we are celebrating Mo Casera's Sneakers and Sandals 2014. Stay tuned for more, it's gonna be a great night. And with us now, I just saw Jill Nicolini from CBS2. Welcome, how are you? Thank you, Ms. Donna, good, how are you? Fabulous, so what brought you down here tonight? Well, the fact that I can wear sneakers or sandals. <laughs> joking, joking, I'm wearing the sandals, but no, because uh, Lisa DiStefano and I have been friends for years. We used to work at News 12 together and Cablevision and Metro Traffic and Weather, so she's a dear friend. And now Mo, her fiance, who's just adorable. So to come out to support the two of them is a great opportunity, and hey, we couldn't have asked for a better night. Absolutely, and Long Island Cares is such a wonderful charity. They help so many people feeding the hungry, so it's a fantastic night tonight. Correct, so all proceeds go to there, and of course, if anyone wants to make donations, they could do that too. So unfortunately, if you missed tonight, it's not too late. Go to their website and check them out, because yeah, it's definitely for a good cause. There you go, stay tuned for more. Jalika Lini, my, my buddy! Since we were really little, little, little. little. With us now is the wonderful Roberta, and uh, we've been to many events here at the Bowie Bar before, but this year it's for the 2014 Mo Casera Sneakers and Sandals. How are you tonight? I'm so excited to be at this event. It's always great with Mo and Alyssa, who do a great job. Now, how long have you owned the Bowie Bar, and what does uh, owning the Bowie Bar mean to you personally? I'm trying to think. We, I've owned the Bowie Bar for a long time. My grandparents had it, my parents had it, then my husband and I, now my five kids are involved, and half of my eight grandchildren are here with us working. So we're all here forever and a day. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful Long Island story. Um, and here tonight we're raising money for Long Island Cares, and I know that you feed so many people here. Um, so what does feeding the hungry mean for you? After Superstorm Sandy, it really brought home like how many people are truly in need, like and my daughter teaches in Freeport where there's a lot of need there. So giving back to the community just on the most basic level is just a wonderful opportunity for us to give back once again how many people helped us. And would you say that it's your family that's really instilled a philanthropic heart in you because this has been here for generations? Yes. I think my grandmother was the most generous person I've ever met and I really just take an example from her. And across the globe, uh, what do you think you could, uh, words of wisdom that you might be able to give other restaurateurs about making a difference? Do at least one charity event a year, at least one, and just you'll see it opens up a world of generosity and thankfulness. Excellent. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful night tonight. And what's your favorite thing on your menu? What do you personally like the best? The lobster sliders. Excellent. I'm going to be going in with Roberta <laughs> to have some lobster sliders. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. Hey, how are you? When it's your event, you're just kind of hanging on. But I'm great. We have a great turnout, beautiful weather. I couldn't be happier. Now, when you met Mo, did you know that you were both going to have like these philanthropic hearts where all you wanted to do was make a difference? That's how he reeled me in. He told me about the first sneakers and stilettos basketball, which was then. Now it turned to sneakers and sandals. And I couldn't help myself but to get involved and help. And we kind of fell in love through that. So. Really? Because I was there that night. I didn't know that that was the start that of all this. The, that we were secret relationship then. That's what I was like our coming out party. Yeah. How adorable. So this is your second year here. Second year with sneakers and sandals. So second year here at the Bowie Bar. Yeah. And I just met uh, Roberta. How, How lovely is she? The Doheny family has not only given us their beautiful venue, but given us time and space at their home to make gift bags, have been so supportive in so many different ways. They're like our co-planners of this event, so I couldn't ask for anything more, and they're the nicest people you'll ever meet. And you have some lovely top sponsors here tonight. You've yes. got some great raffles. Tell us about Kravitz and a few other of the great people that have been supporting um, you here tonight. We have so many great supporters. Arizona Ice Tea, which is a local Long Island company, um, they've given us items for gift bags, and they've made a sizable donation to help us you know, be able to raise money for the party. Um, also, we have Kravit, and they're awesome. They're in Oceanside. They also sponsored us, giving us a donation, but they also have two $2,500 diamond earrings that they are raffling off as a prize to raise money, and they also gave $100 gift cards for every single gift bag, which is unbelievable. Um, we have, oh, so many more. Who else? And you, I love the way that you did the raffles this year. You got all these little baskets. They're like sand buckets um, for the raffle prizes, which are so cute. And stand-up paddleboard. Have you ever done stand-up paddleboarding? And you know who gave us that? Danielle Campbell <laughs> from Harlem Heights <laughs> Yoga. Yeah, I've never done it, okay. but I kind of want to win that. Okay, and I'm thinking I do too, so maybe you'll see both of us like <laughs> paddleboard at the diamond earrings. I'd like the Gucci sandals, but I feel like I can't, I can't put my name in. I just have to let my guests hopefully win and that's why they'll come back again next year and how did you select Long Island Cares 
D. Snyder is a good friend of mine, and he does um, his annual ride, motorcycle ride, every year. And last year, it benefited Long Island Cares, and he brought me with him to the warehouse in Hop Hog, and I couldn't believe the volume that they handle there and how many Long Islanders, 320,000 and growing Long Islanders every month that they feed. And it's people like you and me, you know, and what they do for these people and the way they allow them to have dignity while coming to their stores, which actually look like convenience stores and going food shopping just um, really took my breath away. And so I really wanted to give to them. You know, one sleeve of raffle tickets is $20, and that gives two dozen meals to a Long Islander, which I think is just incredible. Well, it's wonderful what you do. Thank you for being a leader in our Long Island community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Oh, you're welcome. And globally and beyond, if you wanted to give somebody advice, um, let's say they're, they're living in Alaska right now, or they're living in China, or they're living in a different country, what's one piece of advice you would give somebody that wanted to make a difference? Where do they start? It just matters that you start. Where you start, it doesn't matter. It just matters if you start. You know, my grandma, when they had no money, you know, back 50, 60 years ago, would send a dollar in an envelope to St. Jude. You know, it, it's whatever you have helps somebody. So whatever you can do, whether it's an event like this or just sending a check or, or collecting food from your neighbors, every little bit helps. And if everybody just did a little bit, it would make a huge difference. Excellent. Well, have fun tonight. Thank you. All right. God Ready bless to you. party. Woo! Party on. Party with a purpose. That's Woo! our theme. There you go. Party with a purpose. There you go. Stay tuned for more. Yay. Thanks. Hey, Mo, how are you? I'm wonderful. Great night here in Point Lookout. And I don't want to bother you for too long, but just give me some wonderful information about why you're here this evening. Well, this is just such a great community event. Uh, Point Lookout, the Bowie Bar, does so much for the South Shore Long Island community, and we just love to give back. Uh, to this community and Long Island Cares is a great charity. Everything we do with Long Island Cares goes right back to people here on Long Island. And as a couple, this is such a significant night for you because Elisa just told me this is kind of how you like, fell in love. You like reeled her in with uh, your philanthropic heart. It sure is. We, we really met over starting a charity event together and this is our third year doing it and getting married here in about a month. Ah, congratulations. And Long Island Cares, why did you select Long Island Cares? Uh, you know, we wanted to work with a local charity, something that really stays here on Long Island. We feel so strongly about what this community has done for us. This community supported her, supported myself, and uh, we just want to try to give back everywhere we can. Excellent. Well, have a wonderful night tonight. Thank you. With us now is Paul, and he's the CEO of Long Island Cares. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, you look very festive tonight. What is this new look for you? I'm loving it. Well, look, when uh, we were invited to be here tonight at the Bowie Bar, and it was sneakers and sandals, you know, we had to come comfortable. We had to be Long Island. It's a perfect night. We're on the water. So, uh, and if it's a new look and I can do it every day, I'd love it because it's very comfortable. It suits you well. Thanks. Now, tell us a little bit about Long Island Cares and their mission. Well, Long Island Cares uh, was founded 34 years ago by the late Harry Chapin. As the regional food bank, our role is to make sure that there's enough food to feed people who are hungry or food insecure. We do that through a network of more than 600 community-based organizations, the pantries, the soup kitchens, and like we've been doing it, as I said, for more than three decades now. And I think that, you know, Long Island, um, the, the hungry, they really don't really have a face. It could be anybody from any walk of life. And I think there's a misnomer when they think that it's just, you know, the indigent or whatever. It's like anybody could be hungry. Yeah, Donna, you're absolutely right. Uh, you really can't see the faces of hunger on Long Island because it can be your next door neighbor who perhaps just lost a job. It can be the person who's homeless. It could be the returning veteran from Afghanistan and Iraq. Anytime people need food or need assistance in order to make it, uh, that's what our role is. And how can the community help? What, how can they best uh, serve you? Well, there's many things that the community can do. First of all, they could always volunteer their time to, you know, help us at a food drive or a special event. Uh, they could certainly make a donation to support our work. They can host a food drive. Uh, they can, you know, come to our warehouse periodically and sort food. All they have to do is log on to our website at licares.org, and all the information is there. And how were you inspired to have a philanthropic heart? You personally, what was the moment in your life that you decided you wanted to work for a nonprofit or that you wanted to make a difference in your life? It was actually uh, about 32 years ago when I was doing my degree in social work and I realized that I didn't want to be a therapist. I wanted to be out there on the front lines. I wanted to be organizing the community, developing social policy. And, you know, one day, you know, be fortunate enough to be the head of a great not-for-profit. 
And if somebody told me that, you know, the not-for-profit that I would lead is the one that Harry Chapin would have found, you know, founded, that would have been just too much because I, I was a fan of Harry's, uh, not only his music, but his, his social activism. So, and we have a bond, you know. We, we've been communicating for the last few years. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. And I know that you were recently in St. Louis, Missouri. There was a huge convention. So sometimes um, people call upon you for your knowledge and your expertise. And how is that when you're sharing your knowledge across the globe? Well, it's important because, you know, we're part of the broader National Feeding America, Feeding America organization. And many of us, not just me, but many of us who are fortunate enough to lead the food banks, share our expertise uh, with the other food banks across the country. A lot of people have, you know, turned to us in terms of food sourcing and developing direct service programs and mobile outreach programs. And, uh, you know, so if we're happy to share. You know, we don't have a lock on anything. We're happy to make sure that, you know, if we have a success, we're happy to share it with other organizations. Well, happy journeys to you always. Thank you. Thank have you so much. Have fun tonight. Thank you, and thanks okay. for being here. Thank you. Great. Bye. Okay. With us now are the Dodds, and they are the besties <laughs> of Mo and Elisa. How are you guys? We're good. We're excited. What a great turnout. And last year, I know we were here at the Bowie Bar and they were raising money for cancer. You yourself are a cancer survivor. Yes. Um, and I know that it mattered to you. And this year, it's Long Island Cares, uh, help for the poor, right? Yeah. Yeah. So how, how are you here tonight and you're uh, enjoying your night, right? All their endeavors, I just, I support. I love the both of them. They're very dear friends to us. And however way we can support, we're here. We're here for them. So here we are tonight celebrating. You guys live in Long Beach, right down the street, yeah. right? And um, how does it feel to see how much recovery has happened here in Point Lockout so far? Oh my gosh, it's so amazing how everyone comes out to support. And, you know, you look at all the structures around you and day by day, even to this day, there's so much more going on. And, and it's building, uh, you know, a bigger, better, stronger Long Beach. And everyone here is just a testament to that. So it's amazing. And who taught you to how to have a philanthropic heart? I guess my mom. My mom always taught me, uh, you know, it's not good enough just to call someone and say, can I help you? You need to show up. Excellent. So, yeah. Good answer. So uh, stay tuned for more on Live It Up. Yay! Yay! The dog. With us now are Beverly and Sarah Ann. Welcome, guys. How are you? We're wonderful, thank you. How are you? Good. Now, you come to so many um, philanthropic events. Why this one tonight, Beverly? We're here to support Elisa and Mo. Um, she's been a very, very big supporter of Milieu Magazine. She's even in this issue. But um, I love the way that we can work together with other women in media and even, you know, with you, that we all come together tonight and celebrate each other. This is wonderful. And Elisa was a former cover girl, right? Now, your covers lately have been so inspiring, so exciting. Um, tell us how you go about each issue when you set about, like, who's going to be the cover and what you're going to be covering. Sure, well, we meet and we theme the, the issues out. And this last issue, uh, we were fortunate to have four really strong Long Island women. And uh, we did downtowns. You know, everything right now is out in the Hamptons. And we figured, why not? keep it home, keep it in Long Beach, keep it in Port Jefferson, Patchogue, Huntington, and, and show everybody what, what everything's really all about. And Long Island Cares is such a phenomenal uh, charity. Tell us about your personal connection to them, uh, the Harry Chapin Food Bank, and why you're also supporting them. Well, I've known Paul Pactor for years, and of course we support um, their mission, and also um, Jen Chapin is a very big part of the arts scene on Long Island and was a uh, Fortune 52 honoree in one of my columns and uh, I just think the whole mission of Harry Chapin and, and Jen just keeping it here, arts with Elisa, media, it, everything just fits. It's wonderful. Have fun tonight. I know there's great food that's circling around. There's going to be some wonderful music. Um, Echo, the Echo Agency's here tonight. I love him. I do too. And he's a very, very big supporter of Long Island women as well. I mean, he, he just, he's been the best. I mean, he's everywhere that we are, he is. And every event that has to do anything with charity, women, Echo is there, and we love him for that. So we're going to dance a little bit tonight? Absolutely. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. There will be dancing. Bye. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate everything you're doing to help your community, and this is one way that we've been doing it tonight. Thanks.